Your best mate, she's not going to say anything. This is all good, this, honest. It's a... It's a really big step for you. Whoopi. OK. I'll see you later. I should get going. Already? I've got to get back to Fizz. I've told you, I don't want to hear her name, not when you're here. Look, I've said I'll see you, but I don't want an affair. This isn't about what you want, Colin. Haven't you figured that one out? You stupid woman. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me? The stunts you've pulled. The DVD, the funny phone calls. Fizz was ready to go to the police. She wouldn't do that. Yeah, but I've had to tell her this is all Colin's doing. That's where she thinks I am now, reading him the right act. I'm protecting you. And yourself. Still. Thanks, I suppose. Yeah, and now I've got to go. Just another hour. I never knew you had it in you. We'll go out somewhere next time. He's big and strong. The man I love. What was all that about? 100 quid for Jack. You've already said you don't want anything to do with us. It was just... A Christmas present. You've made your position quite clear. You don't want us, and we don't want your guilt money. Hiya, Sal. Hi, Molly. Where's that gorgeous baby of yours? Oh, he's doing the teeth. Oh, get him started early, that's what I say. <laughs> um, thank you so much for that money for Jack. Well, it's a pleasure, and it is our godson, after all. It's, um, it's way too much, but I'll let you off. See you later. See, See ya. ya. A hundred quid? What? Ty caught me in a soppy mood. Yeah, well, I was the one who looked soppy when Tyrone thanked me this morning. I had to pretend I knew all about it. Well, you was that bladdered when you come in last night, even if I told you, you wouldn't remember. We've got two daughters of our own. You were quick enough to say no to Rosie when she asked you for some money. You come in. So, uh, can your plaster come off, then? Not soon enough. Could have been a lot worse, are we? For some of the lads, it was. Uh, David, did you get off or has he escaped? Neither. The CPS realise what we've known all along. It was an accident. Hmm. We should uh, trade war stories. Huh. Check out the scar. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go home if you want. No, it's all right. Graham's cool. I don't think Tina is. We should enter the Flaming Paralympics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. So, uh, go off then. Uh, you think? I'm still officially an epileptic, if it makes you feel better. Want to join our Paralympic team? Drink, David. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'll get them. Graham? Uh, yes, prefer. What, that's it? Mate, like nothing's happened? Life's too short for grudges, mate. Remember that. So, do you want to hug or something? Maybe. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Rising above the old town, the west of the What did you say? We got your beer in. Fridge, what happened? Uh, just laid it out. Told him how frightened you were, how we're going to go to the police. And what did he say? Well, he just broke down, saying how sorry he was. He's not been himself. I think he's losing it. Oh, Chesney's keys. He couldn't give them back quick enough. He was in a terrible state. He terrified that thug will track him down again. He's going back to Canada. Tomorrow. He was in the middle of packing when I went round. Oh! Oh, thank God! So that's it. No more weird stuff going on. No more Colin. <sighs> we'll have to tell his mum. No, he, he doesn't want to see her. She's going out of her mind, John! Look, I'll just say you bumped into him. We don't have to say where or where he's going, just that he's OK. Well, if you think it's for the best. I do, yeah. 
And then, once we've done that, we can put Colin out of our minds forever. Yeah? Oh. I'll get your text. I'm glad it's all over. It not take those too long to make things up, either. Uh, look, can I get you a drink? You've only got ten minutes. I've left Leanne on the road. Yeah, white wine. It'd be lovely. Thanks. How are things going with Leanne? Uh, yeah. Great. White wine and a uh, beer, please, Steve. You drinking in our humble pub? Well, we are on it. Oh, hey, hello. I just, um, I'll it there for you. And, uh, yeah, about earlier. I'm so sorry, baby. Lapland, what was I even thinking? Well, don't worry about it. No, I mean, after everything you've done for me, Hey, Max, listen, I you are it. my missus. And I said, don't worry about it. Uh, he swallowed my last quid. Where's my credits? All right, soldier boy. Easy. Why do things just rub me? Why don't things work like this? Just... Blimey. Blimey. No, that's nearly brain me. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, mate. I don't see how that's happened. What, what, you think that I've come home from nearly getting blown to bits to get killed in my local boozer? All right. Free drinks for this man all night and we'll say no more about it. What? We don't want to get him angry. All right, don't push it now, lads. Around on the house and we'll say no more about it, eh, Gaz? Yeah, all right, fair enough. Same again around then, lads, eh? Yeah. Cheers, mate. My uh, temper sometimes. I might order something to eat. I'm starving. Yeah, let's get us a bowl of chips, yeah? Okay, sir. Sounds uh, life in the factory without yours truly. To be honest, I nearly jacked it all in today. Why? Oh, they're just vile. Not much gets to me, but that woman, she just knows how to press people's buttons. Tell me about it. I've never met such an hard-faced cow. It's, it's like she hasn't got any feelings at all. Hi, this is Peter. Sorry I can't get your call right now. Well, please leave a message after the tone and I'll call you back. <laughs> It'll bring about the end of civilization. Are we going up in the world or are you going now? A bit of both. <laughs> hey, girls! Have you seen this? What? Ho ho ho! A naughty little Carla! She's got a secret. Well, it's not a secret now, it's been splashed over page nine of the Weather Gazette. Page nine? Yeah, be careful. Don't tear it. I've not had my horoscope yet. Ah, oh, he's right. Miss Carla Connor. Company director found guilty of drink driving. Banned for 12 months from driving. Well, that explains why Michelle's driving her around all the time. Oh, does it? Don't speak of the devil. Hey! <clears throat> Call that a then. What? Well, if all I am is a glorified taxi driver, you should pay me. I decide what's in your job description. All that stuff about me learning the patch. Like you're grooming me for bigger things. Well, I was until you started sticking your nose in where it wasn't wanted. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Well, this has shown I can work off my own initiative. Morning, Lady Penelope. Parker. Well, I used to love Thunderbirds, especially four with a pod. What's that for? Was that two? Yeah, OK. All right. Look forward to seeing you. Bye, bye. Aww. Is she coming back round here? Yeah. Well, we told her all we know. I felt sorry for her. She'll be round at dinner time after she's seen a chiropody. Oh, well, don't mind me. It's not like I've got a job or a life. I don't mind dropping everything so I can give a private audience to Colin's mum. Who is at her wit's end, worried sick about her son, who you've seen. I know. I know what... I just meant to be somewhere at lunchtime, that's all. Where? Secret business. I don't like the sound of that. Secret Christmas business. Oh, right. Oh, that's different. Huh. Yeah, I reckon this Christmas could cost the best part of ten grand. You what? Well, Prezi inflation. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Mmm, Prezi inflation, I like the sound of that. Uh, your mum's being sarcastic. Well. Most people would give a godchild, don't know, a tenner, same as I would for a niece or a nephew. 
But now the rate's gone up, I'll have to give them 100 quid each. Oh, don't be that. Are you joking? 100 quid? Yeah, well, that's what your dad gave Tyrone for Baby Jack. Look, I was in a generous mean. It was one of those spur of the moment situations. Dad, are you actually serious? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Your mum's just a little bit now that I didn't consult her. Me? I'm thrilled, and so I should be. Cos we should be worth, what, at least 500 quid a head? Oh, yeah, in your dreams. If you're not bothered, I will go and ask Tyrone for a refund. Oh, <laughs> that's more like the Scrooge we know and love. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't I take the morning off work? Take you shopping for your present that way, I can be sure to buy you something you want. You? Volunteering to take me shopping? There's definitely something wrong with you, Dad. <laughs> We're going to enjoy this, I tell you. Well, I'm appalled, and I certainly don't see the funny side. Carla Com is a wash. It's hilarious. <laughs> what? Who says? She's been banned from driving. What if she'd knocked someone over while she was driving under the influence? Like you're the Anne. Don't say how much over the limit she was, does it? Was she unlucky or bladdered? If you get into a car with alcohol in your bloodstream... She definitely <laughs> drinks too much. I've smelt it on her breath. Mm. And she were definitely tiddly when I went into her office once. Did you need help and support? This isn't about the rights and wrongs of drink driving, Ella. No. Now it's about getting one over on your boss. Finding a chink in that designer armor. Shh, coming over. <sighs> he's got a bigger appetite than you, this lad. Well, there's no wrong with that. And he's a messier eater. We'll start weaning him soon, eh? Get some proper scran down him. Can't wait. <laughs> Might go out later and buy a Christmas tree. Why? Well, duh, it's Christmas. Yeah, but no, I don't want one, not yet. Go on. No. For Jack. Jack doesn't know what a Christmas tree is. He's nearly sitting up now and he loves anything with lights on because he starts jigging and laughing. It's not even December. Well, when I was a kid, we started looking through the catalogue in August. What catalogue? Well, Mum used to get one every year and say, pick what we wanted. Not that any of it ever came. Ty. We never had a proper Christmas. And that's why I'm so keen to have a good one this year and every year from now on. And a proper Christmas starts with a proper Christmas tree. Can't refuse now, can I? Just think, eh? It's time next year. Could be four of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you get Nick out here? We're rammed. Yeah, sure. What do you need front of house? I've got a pile of risk assessments need doing. I thought you might give me a hand. Risk assessments? Yeah. Hmm. Is that you talking in middles by any chance? You look amazing. I've got to have some time alone with you. Mm. Later. <laughs> Do you fancy a drink, Mrs. Connor? Tea, coffee, vodka. Right. OK, everybody, listen up. As I'm sure you're all well aware, I managed to get myself into the papers. No doubt you've all had a good laugh. Well, it's hardly a laughing matter, Mrs Connor. Oh, no. You're my guest. But it's lunchtime now, so move on. Any wisecracks after that, I'll take as an open invitation to sack you. Then I think you'll find I'll be the one laughing. Do I make myself clear? I said, do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes Mrs Connor. Get back. I'm on my mobile, Michelle wants me. Got our first Christmas card. Well, oh, I've been getting them at work since June. <laughs> oh, it's a lass I met in the hospital. Wishing you a very happy Christmas and a healthy triple underline New Year. Hey, amen to that. This time last year I found that lump. And I was oblivious. Are you angry I kept it from you? It's just the thought of you being worried about something and me not being able to help. Well, you more than made up for it when you found out. You were my rock. Ray, you're the one who deserves the praise. 